All right. Our first arena <laughs> match. So we spent a little bit of time just taking a look at presets. Uh, I am recording this on the 21st. We have just gotten access. I actually got access yesterday, but was out of town. Finally got the download and I'm jumping in. So we're going to give this a go and see how it is. I've been watching quite a bit on the Twitter sphere and I've been watching some videos. And this is one of the things that I saw. It seems like actually they've maybe fixed this part where they're letting the queue up. I've seen a lot of people talk about this. I haven't had a ton of experience, but I do agree that there's kind of a weirdness around setting this up. Um, I took some time to look through presets and kind of some of the changes. I am playing this after the, after the first change to some of the kits. So some of these things... I don't know. I look for two tracks that I think that I want to go uh, and try to uh, try to progress in. We're going to see what kind of gear. <laughs> Let's see what kind of gear we're coming up against. Uh, we don't know the maps. We don't know a lot of the things. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I, I have, I want to say as we go into this, I have pretty high hopes in terms of this just being fun. Uh, I did a video that talked about the rollout and some other thoughts in terms of what I saw of how this was rolled out. I am obviously excited to be able to play it and to see if it's gonna grab my attention. I'm a little disappointed that there's not an unranked mode and some of the other modes are not present. In this, as I'm starting to play this, I get that this is still a beta test and they're gonna to continue to refine and fix some things, but I feel like having unranked would be really nice, take a little bit of that pressure off. In addition to having a few of the other game modes, I would love to have tried. I'm super, super excited for Shootout I think it's shootout overrun. I think it's overrun, which is just the, the PVE mode where you're just fighting waves of enemies. And if that was an opportunity to like a little bit more gradually level up your kits and allow you to, you know, use some of the earlier kits to progress and get some experience and however that whole system works, that actually would have been kind of nice. So I have two favorites. I'm going to work down, um, I'm going to work down a CQB, uh, or, yeah, I think I'm going to work down from from the attic here um, it, along the CQB track. So I think this is going to be the the one that we go with. Um, we got some pain. We got some decent meds. This is just terrible ammo, and the gun looks horrendous. But um, we'll give this a go. Okay, shoot the blue guys. Oh, this is single fire. like it was hurt already. This guy's got some... It's going to take me some time to figure out... Where's this guy getting shot from? Nice. Okay, well...
Hey, we killed a guy. I feel like we shot a lot of guys to kill our first guy. <laughs> hey, God, dang it, man. This guy one HP'd me in the leg. <laughs> hey, God, dang it. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like some of our teammates got some, uh, got some gear. A fully automatic weapon would be, would be nice. I do like this, uh, I'm kind of liking the maps. I think they're kind of cool. Oh, scared the fuck out of me, dog. not sad at trying to win this i've gotten two assists though so i've been fucking some people up here's what i think they do need to do get rid of the painkiller effect in this just get rid of it right just it just just make it go away Shot that guy. How do I not headshot that guy, man? It's because I don't have a damn rear sight. <laughs> so these first kid, the first kid is so bad. Oh my gosh. Get some round wins that would be helpful. Get some match wins. This is a cool map, though. Nice. That looks like a decent Just a little kit there. And maybe even just change all the painkillers to stims. That's why I can't headshot anybody. I don't have a rear. Like, like, why? You know what I mean? That just seems, just seems silly to me. Like I can't even accurately aim my gun, you know, for, for distance.
They did turn the announcer down from what I'm seeing. Is that it? I didn't die in a round. Woo! First game, I'm nuts. Two, three, and two. I'll take that. I'll take that for game one. I will take that. I will take a W. <laughs> uh, there, there is something about this. This does feel pretty fun. <laughs> I will say. The kit is terrible. These guys feel like they got decent kits, man. These guys feel like they got some decent... Decent stuff going on. So here's our um, ARP arena points. We got 6,800 experience, which is really good, and then 65k. So, you know, we leveled up. A level three, apparently. Two, three, and two. 6,800 experience, pretty good. These guys all got a varying level of 3k for the loss. So that's a good, that's good to understand the baseline here. Looks like probably, I don't know, 6k or something depending on uh, for a win probably like 3k ish looks like 3k for a loss we both had two kills i had one additional assist maybe assist 100 points kills 350 does that make sense 350 on a win i guess that would have to be how it would be um this guy got 150 it could also be 150 points be 300 it'd be kind of weird though as far as the base experience i'd have to do some math to take a look at that uh, but there's definitely like a kill certain amount of experience per kills uh and then obviously wins so yeah we'll jump back into the presets here so where i'm trying to go is taking a look at the cqb track and honestly, I want to work down to like this. I think getting a um, scar here would be pretty cool to, with that or a Centurion um, with a face shield. Face shields seem like they're going to be pretty good. They've got some really top end. I think it'd be kind of fun to run this MDR. Um, this P90 would be super sick. Right, any fast firing gun. Obviously, this Zenith for the... Uh, the ability to run an Alton or the Butcher. That's pretty far. This is going to take, these will take a long time to get to, but I feel like I could be pretty happy with uh, even some of these kits. Hunter Rounders and a Kiever with a face shield seems to be somewhere that, that folks are going. Uh, but even just getting to these next kits, I mean, having an AK uh, with an optic on it would be, would be nice. Uh, or the Papa Shaft. So it's looking like 2,300, 23,100 experience gets me the opportunity to get into these. And then we'll see what it is to get to these next two. Um, Tactical could be really cool too. Uh, 50 round drums. Level 4 armor. And then getting down to this. Although I'm not a big G36 fan though. So the fact that this... <laughs> Back to this first kit. Uh, there's no rear sight on this gun. On this, I like the sag. It's cool. I like this AK, but the fact that there's no rear sight on it is just so dumb, right? Like that just doesn't <laughs> make any sense to me. And it comes with an op opportunity to put a 45 degree angle. Like, who built this? Like, why did they put? Some these things on here probably extra ergo points i guess i have no idea it's just so <laughs> this is just so bad that would be what it's 7k experience like three more wins if we could stack those together and then we get an opportunity to run either of these two this these kits could be pretty fun um just with all of the uh just with all the potential for this kit could be really fun with the potential to have these big dr <laughs> drum mags and do some uh, some silly things. The fact that they have spare ammo in the pockets is also just like a little mind-numbing and kind of silly. Um, but the other thought I had was working scout and actually going down this track here 
obviously we saw from dreamhack that this mp9 i think this is what they were using this mp9 kit could be pretty dope uh, you don't have any body armor which is really interesting um but also just like getting to an ump with match would be cool um this has some like pretty decent loadouts i think as it kind of goes down get some 856a1 with some class 3 armor but then down into the sandman uh, outside of this having quake maker i feel like this could be a really really fun kit uh to run as well so that's first match i didn't hate it uh there was something about it that was pretty cool i had a good team so I'm, um i like that i hate the fact that i don't have a rear side rear sight on this gun uh i don't i wonder if there's any of the other ones no since the optic this is an sks that's fine iron sights are good on that what is this this is just an iron sight mp5 with ap 6.3 in it that seems a little dumb but this might be the one to do because you've got the ears too this is a ketter so spray and pray this has got an optic. This is Mosin. Yeah, why, of all of the things, <laughs> why would they make this dude so dumb? I don't understand. Give me, just give me the back of it. Whatever that other kit that guy was using. Uh, Where was that? Where was that kit? Maybe it's not one that we have access to. It was just a sag, but it was just, it had all the parts on it. Like, why would you want to use this? Right? Like, why is this an, why is that a reward to getting to that level? Some of these are cool. Some of these don't make any sense. That's kind of neat. I feel like two weapons, having a spare weapon, especially for some of the maps, could be really neat. Uh, like this one. This one could be really solid. This has got subsonic in it. Um, but actually be able to kind of slay with this a little bit. I mean, look at this, though. Very interesting. Yeah, so uh, not going to do my opinions. I had I enjoyed the first match, got the W. That was pretty cool. Got a couple kills, died a handful of times, and uh, we'll be we'll be playing this a little bit, grinding it up, uh, getting some other matches in. But just wanted to record this, uh, show off a few things. I sincerely hope if you don't have access, like I, I all I can say is I'm sorry. That's really shitty. It sucks. Uh, they put a post out I think yesterday talking about that they had like a third of the players in. Uh, that were registered or had signed up or whatever. So they're going to continue to roll it out. I, I truly hope that everybody gets access to it as quickly as we can. I was honestly kind of surprised uh, that I got it the other day. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer of a wait. So maybe that gives you a little bit of hope. Uh, but again, I posted a video talking about the rollout and how just poorly it was handled. Um, I don't want it to detract from the game, but obviously there's lots of things that other people that have played this for much longer than I have at this point um, have some feedback on that I'm sure I will form some similar-ish opinions just looking at some of the progression, but I got to see it play out a little bit and uh, continue to run some squads and, and have some fun and try to play some games. So uh, all that being said, I'm going to flash some socials. I will be putting some arena content up. We're going to continue on uh, with our normal um, hardcore and solo standard playthroughs. We got quite a few videos uh, queued up for that, so stay tuned for that. We've got some what looks like potential pre wipe events going on with bosses being 100% as well. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, we might cover it and uh, and showcase it. I think cultists are also 100% uh, from what I'm seeing, which is kind of neat. So if you want to go do any hunting, and have some fun. That is kind of the key thing. So means that we're probably getting pretty close to a wipe. And uh, I would expect maybe in between Christmas and New Year's. Um, that's just a guess at this point, but we'll see what that folds out. Uh, usually that's about the time frame that we would see it. So could be doing a new wipe, could be doing arena and uh, all that kind of stuff. They may be doing the wipe <laughs> earlier than anticipated to maybe get some people less frustrated. They don't have access to it. I have no idea. Uh, and the servers are absolutely going to be on fire uh, when they get to that point. But we'll see what happens. So. Flash from socials, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned.
and uh, we'll give some opinions and share some games and see what else is coming up here uh, quickly with Arena and Escape from Tarkov. I'll close this one out. Doc Average Gamer, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch the next one. Peace.